Hi guys, I have to do this now before this idiot deletes the chat. Meet Marshall Bruce. Hey, he said. I said, yes, hello. How are you doing? I said, I'm fine. Are you supposed to be Eminem as of the 6th of August or something? Because that was when he changed the photos. But the guy used his own profile and I'll show you that afterwards. So he was following all his own little friends. <laughs> nice to meet you, he said. Where are you from? I said, so not answering questions. Got it. And I'm from Schmaltzburg. Okay, he said, having never heard of it because it's fictional. Have you ever received packages from Eminem? He says. I said, ooh, no. And is it a thing to refer to yourself in the third person? Or do only obnoxious people do that? To which he says, I do send packages for my loyal fans and sends me a picture of a Mercedes Benz, which is considered the height of um, I guess, luxury over there, right? I just sent this to one of my fans yesterday, he said. I said, oh, I wish one of you guys would actually learn how to have a real conversation rather than reducing yourselves into two-word automatons. It gets so tiresome. And in response to the car, I said, huh, it's not very nice, is it? My car is better. Oh, okay, said my two-word automaton. It's my pleasure meeting you here on Facebook. I just viewed your profile and I find it lovely and interesting. And I would like to know more about you because it seems like you are my favorite fans. Plural. I do not want to be rude to send you a friend request without your permission, if you don't mind. Can I get a friend request from you? Thanks. Because all his followers are all his friends in Nigeria, obviously. I said, you couldn't have viewed my profile. It's locked trying to derail him from his format, which you always got to do. You got to derail the format. Oh, but I saw your profile picture. He recovers quickly. Have you ever been scammed? And hoping that I would say yes, because that makes me easy pickings. Sorry, I've got a Marshall Martha as well. And in response to have you ever been scammed, I said, never, you Muppets are too easy to spot. You all make huge mistakes and don't even realise it. And in response to, ooh, but I saw your profile picture. I said, but you said you viewed my profile. So ignoring all that, obviously, I sent you a request on here, which he hadn't, because have been getting texts from some people of my, some of my fans about people claiming to be me. I always see your comments and likes on my Facebook post. God has a reason for all purpose. We know this format. So I wasn't going to do that, obviously. I said, what was all that bullshit then? Something you sent to everyone along with that crap pic of a shit car? And in response to that whole format part, I said, you never sent a request. To which he said, have you been getting requests from people claiming to be me? Question mark, question mark. As you can see, he's still active. I said, and I wouldn't accept it. You tried telling me you give out shit cars. We'd cross posted. And in response to have I been getting requests from people claiming to be me? I said, you? I have no idea. I have had tons of M's message me in the comments like a bunch of idiots because this one messaged me in the comments of an M post. Message me, oh, the usual bullshit. And in response to, and I wouldn't accept it, you tried telling uh, me you give out shit cars. My M&M &M says, I really do, but if you don't believe, you can ask. I don't know, ask who. I said, ask who what? Please try and speak English. And in response to you, I have no idea. I've had tons of M's though. He goes, don't trust them. They are all scammers, said my scammer who was doing the white knight scammer trick, which is trying to say, you know, I'm against scammers. I said, yes, I know. Everyone on here claiming to be famous is a scammer. Everyone. Too obviously my, my idiot doesn't realise. He goes, I'm confusing about those scammers. They are messaging my fans. Don't let them know that it's hard for my lovely fans to believe them. Again, doesn't word salad. Guys, word salad. I said, especially ones who offer gifts and use their own personal accounts to hustle. It's, it's just silly and lazy. Again, we'd cross post it. So in response to I'm confusing about those scammers that are messaging my fans, don't let them know that it's hard for my lovely fans to believe them. I said, everyone messaging me right now claiming to be famous is a fake. Everyone. To which he goes, oh, okay. Not realising that he was included in that. 
I said you included because I figured I had to spell it out. This one was stupid. I don't know why you find it hard to believe me, he says, incredulous that I couldn't believe him. And not at all, to me including him in that. I said, oh, yes, 100%. And the real Marshall, I don't have multiple accounts. I said, just saying it out loud repeatedly doesn't make it true, Omar. Can I send you a voice note, he says. I said, of course. Okay, I, we, now, he says. I said, what does okay, I, we, now mean? I mean, I will do it now. I said, sure, you do you, my guy. Okay, he said, and poddled off for about six minutes to make the following. Personalised for me. Now, we've seen this one before, but this one's personalised to me. Aren't I lucky? Finish Juliana. I just wanted to let you know that you're actually talking to the real me. No managers, no assistants, no imposters, just me sharing my thoughts and connecting with you directly. So I'm going to put it into full screen so you guys can see the mouth and how it's manipulated. Finish Juliana. I just wanted to let you know that you're actually talking to the real me. No managers, no assistants, no imposters, just me sharing my thoughts and connecting with you directly. It's actually not bad. You need, really need to look at it very closely. A lot of people would fall for this, right? Um, which is unfortunate. But obviously we've seen this video of M walking through this bef many times and had different variations of it. But it's frightening that this has been um, altered to this degree. I said, that's weird. I've had this clip sent to me now about 12 times, each one manipulated to say some variant of what you sent. Tisk tisk, you guys need new material. To which he says, I don't understand anymore. I don't know how to prove it to you. He was getting desperate. He'd had no luck with clients. And in response to I don't understand anymore, I said, you never did, kitten. But that's on you, not me. I found the original weeks ago. And in response to I know how to, uh, I don't know how to prove it to you. I said, just give me an audio call and show me that American accent, Omar. It's fake. They are not the real one, he said. In response to me saying I found the original clip weeks ago. They, we only ask you to send a card. Freudian slip there. I'll read that again. They, we, only ask you to send a card. So obviously I jumped on that. First, in response to it's fake, they are not the real one. I said, yes, exactly what I've been trying to tell you. I found the original, the one where he doesn't say my name. Can you imagine? He says, astonished that they are asking for cards. And in response to they, we only ask you to send card, I said, oh, I know you ask for cards. You all do. To which my scammer, thinking he'd overcome some hurdle, went, okay. And in response to can you imagine, I said, yes, like someone offering a free card in a chat, a free car in a chat. It's ridiculous. To which my scammer said, oh, I don't have time for all this. Contrary to evidence, we know he did have time. And then. He rang me. I'll play that now. Okay, this was a big surprise that he even rang me. So I'll play that. Hello? I just wanted to let you know. No managers, no assistants, no imposters, just me. Sharing my thoughts and connecting with you directly. Sweetie, I can hear you moving around in with the recording. Oh, my God. I'll play it again, right? Because you, you, it's very hard to hear him in the background, um, the Eminem voice note or whatever he put down from his app um, because he kept fumbling with the phone. That noise is from him, not me. Hello? I just wanted to let you know that no managers, no assistants, no imposters, just me sharing my thoughts and connecting. Sweetie, I can hear you moving around in <laughs> with the recording. Oh, my God. So, obviously, that was the voice from the other video. He just cut out the finished Juliana part. No assistance or whatever. So, we return to the chat. So, obviously, I wasn't going to let that one pass. So, I just sent laughing emojis. I said, you fumbled the phone when doing that. Oh, I don't understand you anymore. I said, you're new at this, aren't you? Bye, he says. And in response to, I don't understand you, uh, 
anymore. I said, you never did. That's self-evident. A real person actually speaks and doesn't play a recording. And in response to bye, I said, bye, Mugu of mine. That's what you think, he said. I said, it's what I know, little one. I would have even done video call, but bye, he said. And he was hoping that I would go, no, wait, come back. No, I'm sorry, but you know me. I said, oh, I'm sure I'll muddle through life somehow, but thanks for the video to add to my collection. At this point, oh, yeah, it's trying to connect. I don't know if he'll come back. He may do. So I just want to show you what I'd screenshotted from his profile. So have a look at his profile, right? He's got 219 friends. He's got the pronouns right. He's added the Spotify, works at founder of Slim Shady Records, works at Slim Shady, went to Lincoln High School in T Stockton. He's got all those details correct, right? So he's gone to a bit of thing. He's added his Spotify followers, Instagram followers, YouTube followers, put himself down as single. Unfortunately, the account was changed over on August the 6th, 2024. And if you have a look at all his friends, apart from a few that are 100% either a fake profile or potential clients, all of his friends, like our Malik D. Gobson here, right, are all from Kaduna, Nigeria. So this guy used his own profile with all his friends, all his followers, to create his stupid M&M uh, profile. Big, big red flag. Do you really think that m and would only have followers from one country? So, there you go. As you guys can see, there's a, a fair amount. I've got a couple here going. Um, I've got this Marshall Marthas. He goes, this is Marshall Marthas. He actually responded to that. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If this Marshall Bruce comes back, I'll let you guys know, but I doubt he will. And I've got someone called Chase Rice. I don't know who Chase Rice is, but anyway, talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.